All packed, Olivia? All... most... done! It's just for the weekend, dear. But, Mom, I never know what I might need. Of course, I'll need my best toy. Of course. Ian, you don't need to bring food. But this is my... Grandma will have plenty of food for us. No, this is... It's what grandmothers do. This is my suitcase. That's it? Yep. Will they let you on the plane with all that? They'll have to. But what if they don't? Not let me fly? My first time on a plane? Are you kidding? Dad, I'm ready. Kids, I've got some bad news. There's a big storm moving in and our flight has been canceled. Looks like we're driving to Grandma's. Driving? I'm afraid so, Olivia. There must be a plane we can take. Welcome aboard Air Olivia, a fancy flight. Olivia, it's time to go! Hey, Olivia. Getting ready to take off? Yeah, but not in a plane. We're driving. Too bad. Lucky I brought these. Walkie-talkies? Excellent! Testing, one, two, three. Come in, Olivia. Do you read me? Over. Read you loud and clear. Over. All aboard, kids. Bye, Julian. I get the side with the snacks. They're in the middle. Uh, that's William. A front middle. I'm approaching the vehicle. I'm entering the vehicle. I'm now inside the vehicle. Over. Roger that. Here we go. <laughs> Are we there yet? Honey, how can we be there if we haven't left the driveway? <laughs> My brother poked me. Roger, will do, over and... You're breaking up. I can't hear. Olivia, Bobby, over. Olivia. That was Ian, my little bother, over and out. I bet you wish you'd taken that plane to your grandma's, over and out. Hmm. Welcome aboard Air Olivia's flight to grandma's. Ian, are we there yet? No. <laughs> See you later. Just a few more hours. Oh, please let it be true.
Claus house. Winds? 30 knots out of the northeast. Thank you, air traffic control. Have a great flight. I know the passengers are in good hands with you, Captain Olivia. Does anyone have to use the bathroom? I do. Pit stop. <laughs> It's for the two of you to share. Can I have some? Sure, you can have the bottom half. But I like the red part at the top. So do I. <laughs> Just one yeah, bite. Olivia. Yeah, Olivia. No, no, careful with the... Oh. <laughs> <sighs> we'll never get to Grandma's. It would have been so much better to fly. Here on Air Olivia, everyone, even pesky little bothers, travels in style. Sweet dreams. Would you like to enjoy a movie? Hey, I don't suppose you have any... Popcorn? Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. This is by far the most wonderful flight I've ever taken. Thank you, Mom. I mean, happy customer. Time to begin landing. Buckle up, everyone. We're directly above Grandma's house and starting our descent. All right, co-pilot. Time for me to land this bird. Hey, guys. How's it looking up ahead? <gasps> Some rain clouds ahead? I better go around them. This is Captain Olivia speaking. I want to thank you for flying with us today. And always remember to travel. Air Olivia, a fancy flight. Are, Are we there, there yet? yet? Are we there yet? Yes. yes. <gasps> You'd never get here. Me too. How was the drive? A little tiring. <laughs> Olivia? Not for me. I flew. <gasps> How grand. Come on in. I want to hear all about it. <sighs> <sighs> mm. Well, Olivia, you made it through the car trip. <sighs> Book time? Not tonight, sweetie. I think we're all too tired. Then two books tomorrow. I'll make it three. Really? How about four? Don't push your luck, Missy. Good night, Olivia. Good night, Mom. Morning. I have some very exciting news. Today, we will all choose our class job. Yes, Olivia. I'd like to be the teacher. Well, that job is already taken. The jobs you can choose from are lights monitor. Does the lights monitor get to turn the lights on? Yes. And do they get to turn the light off? 
Yes. Now, sit in your chair. No hands in the air. Again. The jobs you can choose from are chair monitor, desk monitor, whiteboard monitor, and last but certainly not least, classroom pet monitor. Francine, I want to be the pet monitor. And touch that icky frog? Yuck! I want to be the lights monitor. During recess, I'd like you all to think about which job you'd like. Julian, which job do you want? I don't really want any of them. I think you'd be a good whiteboard monitor. You're very neat and tidy. Thanks, but no thanks. I can't wait to start being the classroom pet monitor. I'm going to do every single thing that Mrs. Hoggenmuller asked me to do. And more. I hope you all gave this some thought during recess. Now, who would like to be desk monitor? All right, Otto, I've written you down for desk monitor. Chair monitor? Thank you, Oscar, for volunteering for chair monitor. Whiteboard monitor. Huh? All righty. Julian will be whiteboard monitor. Now, who wants to be the classroom pet monitor? That job involves helping me take care of our classroom animals. It's one of the most important jobs. The most important job? I want to be pet monitor too. You said you wanted to be lights monitor. Well, I changed my mind. I want each of you for homework tonight to think of a short speech telling the class why you want the job you chose and why you would be good at it. What are you going to say in your speech tomorrow? I don't want to make a speech in front of the class. Hmm. I've got it. You won't have to say anything. You can show the class why you'd be a good whiteboard monitor. All you have to do is draw. Julian, would you like to come up and tell us why you'd be a good whiteboard monitor? Uh, instead of saying a speech, I'd like to show you. Thank you. Julian, that was brilliant. Otto and Oscar, please come up. Chairs and desks should be neat. If you don't understand, we can repeat. Desk and chairs should be straight. We can do that job just great. Good job, boys. Now let's hear from Alexandra, who would like to be lights monitor. I am very good with lights. I turn the ones in my house on and off all the time. Thank you. Come on up, Olivia. I should be classroom pet monitor because I want to take care of the animals and they want me to take care of them. These are our class pets. Can you say no to what they want? Yeah! All right, Francine. Let's hear what you have to say. Instead of telling you how good I am at taking care of animals, I'm going to show you. I've brought my cat, Gwendolyn, today. See how shiny Gwendolyn's coat is? That's because I brush it every day. And see how she's not too skinny, but not too plump? That's because I feed her just the right amount. And she can even do tricks. Speak, Gwendolyn. All right. Since we have two volunteers, we're going to vote for who will be classroom pet monitor this month. 
Whoever doesn't win will be pet monitored next month. Now, raise your hand if you want Olivia to be pet monitor first. And now those who want Francine to have the job this month. All right, Francine will be our pet monitor. But I would do such a good job. Not too hot and not too cold. Perfect. Olivia, you're the best pet monitor we've ever had. That's true. And because you're doing such a good job, I'm bringing in a few more animals for you to take care of. Excuse me, Olivia. We need to straighten the desk. If you want, I can help you catch flies for our frog at recess. Gross. I'm not going to catch some icky flies. But you'll help the lizard shed his skin if he needs you to, right? Do what? Here, I'll show you. Here, Francine, why don't you hold him for a second? Sweet little lizard. I'll take care of you. There you go. Olivia, I think you should be pet monitor. Yes! I mean, thank you, Francine. Yes, Olivia? Since I'm so good with animals, do you think we could get a few more? Like maybe a sea lion or an elephant? I'm afraid not. Rule of life number 55. If your teacher says no to a sea lion or an elephant, a tiger is probably out of the question. And then the lizard got out and then Francine knocked over the desks and the chairs. And then the lizard started running away, but then I stopped all the kids from scaring him, and then Francine said I could be the pet monitor because I was so good with the pets. This sounds like a very exciting story, sweetie, but let's finish it tomorrow. Time for bed now. Okay. But you're happy I'm pet monitor, right? I couldn't be more thrilled. I couldn't be more thrilled either. Good night, Olivia. Night, Mom. Oops. Ian, please try to stay clean. Well, at least until you get to Daddy's office. Too bad it wasn't bring an alien to work day. That would be cool. Ian, then Daddy wouldn't be able to bring us. Speak for yourself, Earth girl. <laughs> Perry, no chew toys at the table. That's okay. He probably thinks I need a toy phone at the office. Oh, speaking of which, we should be off. Goodbye, darling. Mwah. Goodbye, darling. Goodbye, darling. <laughs> Goodbye. Have a good day at work. <laughs> Hello? I can't hear you. I'm on the subway. On my way to work. Yes, 
I've got a really important job as an, uh, Dad, <laughs> what is your job called again? I'm an architect, sweetie. Oh, yeah. I've got a job as an architect. You know, designing houses and buildings and stuff. Ian, there's a frog in your... Shh! I know. His name is Cedric. Why are you bringing him to Dad's work? I was afraid Mom would find him. You know she doesn't like frogs. Okay, kids, this is our stop. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Sam. What do we have here? This is my daughter Olivia and my son Ian. Pleased to meet you. I like your badge. Well, this must be your lucky day. I happen to have one especially for you. What do you say? I love that it matches my outfit. Uh, yeah, besides that. Thank you, Mr. Security Guard. <gasps> uh, what was that? Uh... Ian's funny way of saying thank you. Hmm. You might have a future as a ventriloquist, Ian. I get to push the elevator buttons. Three, two, one... Blast off! Uh, I think we've gone past Dad's office. Ian, I know how to get to Dad's office. We're taking a shortcut. Everybody hang on! Roger that. Next stop, Dad's office! Okay, kids, that's enough with the buttons. It will take us all day to get up to the office at this rate. Hey guys. <laughs> wow. You can practically see our house from up here. Well, is our most talented architect here? Oh, hello, Mr. Beeswax. I'd like you to meet my children, Olivia and Ian. Kids, this is Mr. Beeswax. Hello, Mr. Beeswax. Oh, um. It's bring your child to work day. Oh, that explains all of the children in the copy room. Ian wanted it to be bring an alien to work day, but I talked him out of it. And I'm glad you did. And now, is your model for the new aquarium ready? I need to show it to the board of directors this afternoon. This afternoon? But I thought I had much more time to finish it. So did I. You have until three o'clock. I know you can do it. Oh, that's not very much time. Can we help? Hmm. Hmm. What I need you to do is take these files and empty the paper inside into this recycling bin. Then put the empty file folder in this box. That's it? But what about your model? We can help with that. <laughs> yeah, thank you, honey, but I have to do that one on my own. Hey, you're getting pretty good at that trick, Ian. Okay, I'll be back to check on you in a little while. This is kind of fun. Not as much fun as building a model of an aquarium. Rule of life number 41. What's the point of bringing kids to work if they can't help? Cedric says he'll help, too. Hmm. Back it up, Cedric. We're building an aquarium for Dad. <laughs> Ian, tell Cedric the cement is supposed to go over there. Come back, Cedric. Don't worry. He'll be okay. Besides, you heard Mr. Beeswax. We have to have this model done by 3 o'clock. But what if Cedric decides to hop home? He won't get very far. He can't even reach the elevator buttons. Let's go get more stuff for our model. Hi, 
I'm Olivia, and this is my brother Ian. Want to come help us build a model? Sure. You haven't seen a frog, have you? Supplies! Let's get started on the aquarium model. Hi, wanna help? Okay. supposed to put that beam over there. But I just finished sticking this one on. But that's where the humongous fish tank is going to go. What's gonna go in there? A frog. A frog? I don't like frogs. Don't worry, we have to catch it first. But it's going to be huge. People from all over will want to come to our aquarium to see it. Get it away from me! Oh, I think someone found Cedric. We'd better go get him. Let's bring the aquarium. Get it away from me! Don't worry, Cedric couldn't hurt a fly. Well, maybe a fly, but not someone as big as you. What's going <gasps> on out here? Sorry about that, Mr. Beeswax, but my brother lost his frog. Well, he found a frog first, then he lost it again. He owned the office. His name is Cedric. We would have looked for him, but we were too busy making a model for the aquarium. Here you go, Cedric. Uh, sorry about this, Mr. Beeswax. I was distracted with the aquarium project. Did you make this model, Olivia? Yes. With help from my construction workers. There are some very interesting ideas here. Oh, you've got a very talented young architect on your hands. Now, who wants pizza? Yeah! Hmm. Is that your model, Dad? Yes, it is. I'm worried it's not as interesting as yours, although I did borrow one of your ideas. Well, it's hard to beat a masterpiece, wouldn't you say? Just let me know if you need us to make any more models. <laughs> and on that day, the king invited every person in the kingdom to join in the celebration. Did an architect design that castle? Well, yes. Did an architect design our house? Yes. I think I want to be an architect when I grow up so that I can design a house for you and Dad. But we like this house. Yeah, but someday you may need more room for all the frogs Ian likes to bring home. Did your brother bring home another frog? Uh, yes, but he named him after Grandpa. <sighs> I'd better have a talk with your brother. Good night, sweetie. Good night, Mom. <sighs> Good night, Cedric. 